Welcome back everybody. We're here to pull cards for August the 3rd. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy and one card for each sign. And we're going to look at how those two energies interact. You see how bad these cards are misbehaving right now? That just means we have a lot of chaotic energy going on today. So this should be a really interesting day. Hopefully it's chaotic in a good way. But definitely a lot of plates in the air for quite a few of us, I would say. Okay, overall energy is what? Seven of Cups. We have lots of options. Lots of options in front of us. Seven of Cups for me can be this idea of um, that we have lots of options to choose from. We have to sort through which one is going to be best for us. Sometimes, though, it also comes up for me as... Uh, that manifestation type of, you know, the very beginnings of manifestation, of imagining those things that we actually want, imagining different ways that our life could be better. So, um, yeah, we'll just see how this plays out with each sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Aries, this is just telling me that you guys have a situation where you really, you're involved in some type of collaboration, but you really don't want to be. <laughs> and you're looking at different options about things that you could do that would be different, where you would not have to collaborate, or at least not collaborate in the certain collaboration that you're in right now. Uh, so you're just really looking at the options there. How do I... How do I move forward from this? Because it looks like that collaboration is not going very well anyway. Next up, let's look at Taurus. Two of Pentacles showing up in reverse, along with the overall energy of the Seven of Cups. So Taurus, it looks to me like there's a lot that you're actually trying to do to improve your life right now. And you may have bitten off a little bit more than you can chew with this Two of Pentacles in reverse. Basically means that something is falling through the cracks. You're so busy that you're not able to keep up with everything that's going on. And so something's falling through the cracks. So this would be a really good day to delegate if you're able to delegate some of your responsibilities to somebody else who would be capable of handling them. Or it would be a good day to prioritize and set your priorities early so that you don't have things pushing and pulling you in different directions because you've already got a plan made, one or the other. Maybe both. Maybe delegate and prioritize. Looking at Gemini. Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. You do have some options in front of you, Gemini's, and I think that... Um, these are options that you have earned. So you have earned the right to choose between these options that are in front of you and these options. To me, the Seven of Cups talks about options, about different things you could do to improve your life. I think that these were not options that just came to you naturally with those Five of Swords Geminis. I think that you had to stand up for them and you had to really work to to earn them or to draw them to you. Maybe you did manifestation work or maybe you, you know, proved your worthiness to another person. Maybe you're still proving worthiness to yourself. I don't even know. But it looks to me like whatever these options are that you're looking at right now, these didn't just land in your lap um, really easy. You did put in some energy and effort for that to happen. Okay, so that's for Gemini's. Next up, let's look at Cancer's. Knight of Pentacles showing up for Cancers along with the Seven of Cups and the overall energy. So Cancers, I think that today you're really trying to decide where you want to invest your time, your energy, your efforts. There, You definitely are ready to take action on something. And you may even be taking action on something, but first you have to figure out what is it that I'm going to take action on. And so I see that happening today. Next up, we're going to look at Leo. Seven of Wands, Leo's Leo's. Okay, so two sevens for you. It's all about the truth, the truth, the truth. Okay, so Seven of Cups, you've got lots of options in your life, lots of different things that you could do to improve things moving forward. 
Seven of Wands tells me that you basically have people that are, you know, trying to push these different options at you and trying to really push you into whatever it is they want you to do out of these options. And you're kind of having to hold your own and stand up for yourself and say, but wait, that's not what I want to focus on. How about we let me make my decisions? <laughs> All right. So who is that? That was Leo. Next up, let's look at Virgo. So Virgo, Nine of Wands. So Virgos, you guys definitely know that you have lots of options to choose from that would be an improvement to your life. And I think that you're making uh, preparations to move forward with whichever one of those options you're considering a priority. So definitely making some preparations so that you can have some forward momentum here real soon with one of those options. You may have already chosen which option, option you actually want, Virgo. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Okay, so Libra's Ten of Pentacles showing up in your personal energy, or excuse me, in your signs energy, since this isn't a personal reading. Um, and Seven of Cups in overall energy. So Libra's, this is telling me that you are looking at your sense of stability and security in the world. And as you're looking at that stability and security, you're looking at different options that you have in front of you to increase that, to add to that, or, you know, yeah, to increase or add to that. Let's leave it there. Next up, let's look at Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. We have the Emperor showing up for us. We're taking control of a situation. We have lots of different ways that we could make our lives better. Lots of different improvements that we could bring into our lives. We are definitely making a decision and moving forward. Some decision is better than no decision, even if it's not the right decision. <laughs> I do think we are making a decision in line with the integrity of who we are, though, with the emperor showing up. So making a decision and moving forward in a very de decisive and firm way. All right, so that was for Scorpios. Next up, let's look at Sagittarius. Ace of Cups showing up in reverse. Oh, goodness, what is this? Hmm. Okay, so Sagittarius with this Ace of Cups in reverse, coming up with our overall energy of the Seven of Cups, you have somebody, maybe a company, maybe a person, but somebody has shown you their true colors. I don't think you were expecting this. I think you kind of held these people or this company in high esteem. Now that you're seeing their true colors, you're realizing, whew, I don't want to interact with that person in the same way that I used to before. And so now you're investigating your options of, you know, who could I work with? Who could I partner with? Who could I, uh, who could I actually work with in good integrity moving forward? Whether it's in a personal situation or whether it's in a business situation, you are definitely investigating options. Now, let's see. That was Sag. Let's look at Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorns, you guys have the death card coming up in reverse. Okay, Capricorns, this tells me that you have, with that overall energy, lots of options about different things that you could do to make your life better right now. However, with that death card in reverse coming up as your sign's energy, this just says that you're really resistant to changing anything. You're wanting to hold on to things the way they are. It may not be really comfortable, but it's comfortable in the way of an old shoe that has holes in it. <laughs> you're used to it. You know what to expect from it. And so you're really kind of digging your heels in as I'm not making any improvements in my life. I'm not making any changes. I like things just the way they are. We'll see how that works out. Usually when we've got a death card in reverse and we're not making those changes that we could be making, usually what happens is those changes happen. Just we don't get to be involved with them because we refuse to. And so we don't have as much control over them as we would if we actually got involved in them. So my advice to you when I see this combination is go ahead and start looking at ways you could improve your life and start making those changes that appeal to you now rather than waiting for them to be pushed on you by the universe or by people around you. It's much more pleasant when you have some say so. Next up, let's look at Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius moon card showing up in reverse. This just means that you had a situation in your life where 
two and two just really wasn't making four. You knew there was some information that was missing in that situation, but you just couldn't figure out what. When the moon card comes up in reverse like this, that information is floating to the surface, okay, for you to look at. So also when this moon card comes up, it tells me that it is changing how you're interacting with whatever situation that truth comes up about because that truth is going to change your perspective on this situation. Okay, so you have a truth that's coming up that's changing your perspective on whatever situation it touches and is making you look at, okay, what are the other options I have here? What else could I do here instead of this? Or what could I do to improve this situation, one or the other? Okay, so that's for who? That's for Capricorn. Okay, so last but certainly not least is Pisces. All right, Pisces, you guys have the tower showing up in reverse. I really like this. This is a very happy combination with the tower in reverse and the seven of cups. Pisces, this tells me that at some point in the past, you had a major shakeup where something that made you feel secure or stable was suddenly and unexpectedly removed from your experience. But that's not today. Today, you're recovering from that and you're looking to replace whatever that tower represented to you, whatever made you feel secure and stable that was suddenly removed. You're looking to replace that and even to upgrade it. With the tower, when it comes in a reverse, there's an upgrade. You end up in a better situation than what you were in before the original shakeup. So that's where you are. You're improving your situation now from where you were before. So you're thriving. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. With this card and the overall of the Seven of Cups, this tells me that your upgrade to that situation, you have options. Like there's not just one thing that you could do that would put you in a better situation. There are multiple things that you could do that would put you in a better situation. And so today I think you're making up your mind which of those you're moving forward with so that you can continue on with your thriving. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet there Pisces. All right, so thank you guys very much for being here. I appreciate all of you guys so much, and I'll see you all back on the next video. Peace out.